Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier. I have some massive motivation for you guys in today's cleaning marathon. We're doing the whole house. I am bringing together my best cleaning, most recent deep cleaning videos for you guys today all in one spot. So grab those tools, those cleaning products, and let's get to cleaning. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. Like a cargo, you will carry me I just hope you know my depth Even though it makes no sense Sometimes I'm broken Too much of emotions Sometimes I'm the lighting Don't wanna pick a fight with Hello, 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 guys. Welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. As you can see, we got some work to do. This kitchen is a collect all and it is very much showing that. So uh, I'm gonna start by just decluttering these counters, get everything cleaned up, put away, reset. Uh, and honestly, while I'm doing this, I noticed that some things needed a little more attention. So we're going to be deep cleaning as well in today's video. So I hope you guys are ready. If you're going to clean with me, grab those cleaning products and get to cleaning. And if not, I hope you enjoy the content. <laughs> uploading issues yesterday and it has been a literal nightmare i i don't know for whatever reason my full video just would not upload and then i was starting to not only have problems with youtube but i was also starting to have problems with my app and it was a whole ordeal my video got deleted you guys so i had to re-edit everything um so i hope that you guys will give this so much love because this video took a lot out of me <laughs> so um that is like the behind the scenes outside of filming the whole editing aspect of it um usually it goes a lot smoother but for whatever reason this video just gave me a whole lot of trouble so it is what it is but i hope you guys all enjoy i definitely I love filming these videos for you guys just not only does it help motivate me to get into my home get things cleaned up picked up put away uh, and just you know reset everything but I also love filming these because I hope that my motivate the motivation that I'm filming for you guys I hope that it helps you guys and helps motivate you to clean your homes gives you ideas on how to organize things um just maybe spaces that you guys have been missing while cleaning you know any any of those types of things so i really love just giving you guys all the motivation i also really love sharing um inspiration i love inspiring you guys with decorating and decor i am so excited that christmas is coming I will be decorating. Uh, my decorate video will be up in about two weeks. So I cannot wait to share that with you guys. But um, I also hope that you guys have been enjoying the shopping trips. Uh, we've went to Kirkland's. We've went to Hobby Lobby twice. I hope that you guys maybe saw some things, maybe some new things that you didn't know were out and that are available for you guys now. 
Uh, but yeah, I, I really love just sharing everything with you guys and I, I appreciate all the love that you guys give me on my videos. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I just really wanted to let you guys know that I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys sticking by me and sharing my videos, commenting on my videos, liking my videos. It all helps my channel to grow and it sure is growing. So I just wanted to let you all know that I truly appreciate it. Like I said, I love filming for you guys. So if it helps you, it's also helping me and I just wanted you to know that. so excited my order of Nespresso pods showed up and you guys <laughs> they have the new holiday scents out well they're not new they're they're the same like yearly but they only keep them you know for the season and my absolute favorite is the uh, I almost said pineapple oh my goodness I do not like pineapple <laughs> especially coffee um no peppermint peppermint pinwheel i am so excited i love all things peppermint peppermint mocha like all the things guys so i am super excited um you my, my favorite ice cream of all time is uh peppermint stick oh my gosh yeah so excited for the holidays like all all of it all of all of it <laughs> um but anyway i got my order in so i wanted to go ahead and fill up my jar when i went to fill it up though i noticed that it was a little bit sticky um i don't know if it was like a buildup of like dust or if something got on it but no big deal i just cleaned it up a little bit before restocking uh, but yeah, so I also picked up um, gingerbread. I forget what the exact name is, but it's gingerbread and then a pumpkin spice cake, I think it is. I have not tried those two yet, so I'm super excited to try them. Um, especially because those pods are like full coffee cup pods, not, not espresso. And so I'm with the drop in temperature that we have had here in Florida, I'm super excited to pull out a mug and just drink some warm coffee i am so excited for that so not excited for the cool down <laughs> but don't you worry we'll be back in the 80s before you know it um uh, but yeah so um also side note here i when i went to put the toaster away earlier i noticed that this cupboard was uh yeah full of crumbs <laughs> Um, also, just a side note, I do want to say that this is a judgment-free zone. I ask that you guys do not judge me and I will not judge you. What you do in your homes is your personal business and what I do in mine, yes, I am sharing it here, but I'm sharing it to help give you guys motivation and to also show that, you know, crumbs are normal, dust is normal, houses get dirty, we live in this house, uh, we are a family of six that lives in this house, so... Anyway, I just, yes, yeah, so <laughs> just to put that disclaimer out there, but when I was putting the toaster away earlier, I noticed that this lazy Susan was awfully, awfully dirty, full of crumbs. <laughs> so I went ahead and just vacuumed that out. I don't know if you guys know or not, but on your toaster, there's usually drawers like in the bottom of it that hold all the crumbs. Um, and so obviously it's been a minute since ours has been cleaned out and they overflowed into the lazy susan so also i just wanted to give you guys a close-up of like some spills and drips and runs and just some of the dirty this one's kind of hard to see i don't know if you can see it um that well but yeah definitely things got spilled down the front of the cupboards the base cabinets are definitely worse than the upper cabinets but we're gonna go ahead and get that cleaned up as well i will come around and let you know i'm always coming back
I get a lot of questions on our cabinets. Um, if you're new here, we moved to Florida just over a year ago and we gutted our kitchen. So um, we didn't get the floor. The floor is what was there before, but we tore out all the backsplash, um, uh, appliances, cupboards, all, all of those things. We didn't change any of the layout. Uh, we didn't change, like obviously there's still a header there. Um, and all those types of things. Nothing like terribly big because we did the entire project on our own and we wanted to keep a very small, we had, we had a very small budget for our kitchen reno. So I did share all that. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, definitely do and check out and see this kitchen has come so far uh, since we bought our home and I absolutely love it. But back to the cupboards. These are, I think, the Arcadia cupboards from Lowe's. We, they are prefabbed cupboards um, that basically you can buy. They're, you can walk into the store, pick them out, buy them. There they are. Um, they're already available mostly. I don't think we had to order anything. If I remember correctly, I think everything was in stock. So anyway, um, and we also got a discount for buying everything, which saved quite a bit of money, uh, overall, but Anyway, I, back to the question, you know, I get a lot of questions on how well these cabinets are holding up since they are very affordable. I will say for the price you pay for these, I absolutely love these cupboards. And if you are, if you are looking to redo your kitchen, definitely check them out. Um, especially if you're doing them yourself, it makes things a lot easier that they're already pre-built. They're easily accessible, um, affordable and easy to install so like i said my husband and i did this ourselves our kids helped um <laughs> especially when it came to like the uppers we have never done anything like this before so don't judge on that aspect if you're a contractor um just don't look <laughs> So, uh, yeah, but anyway, we absolutely love the cupboards. They are holding up very well. They are great quality. They clean well. Um, they, you know, all the things. So I have had no issues with them. I absolutely love them and I would highly, highly recommend them. So I did share a little bit of what kind of content I post for my new friends here, but I did want to let you guys know what I have coming up. We have a lot of good stuff coming uh, with Christmas coming. I cannot wait. I, I literally have the rest of the year planned out and you guys are going to continue getting three videos a week as long as, uh, you know, YouTube app on the internet, all the things <laughs> align so that I can do that for you. But I am super excited. We have... Um, I think we're done shopping. I do have to actually officially go out and buy everything that I have intentions of buying, which is not a whole lot, but I definitely have um, uh, plans to share the, that haul with you, um, kind of share an idea of what I have going on, what I like in my brain <laughs> um, planned out for the season. Um, I also plan on going through some of our old decor, uh, just kind of declutter that, go through it, clean it out, see if there's anything that I can use for this year. I also, um, well, because we need to decorate for Christmas, I need to undecorate and take all the fall and Halloween stuff down. So that'll be coming soon just to kind of, you know, inspiration or motivation to clean out get everything set up for the holidays. I, oh, I can't wait. I am so excited. Are you guys excited too? Because I don't know. I don't think I've ever been so excited for Christmas to be here. I, I just, I don't know. I don't even know what it is, you guys, but I am so, 
so stinking excited but um obviously uh, we're gonna be decorating for christmas and all the things i have um some ideas for like a hot cocoa bar a tablescape or place settings uh you know just decorating for christmas um we, I'm gonna go ahead, um, I know you guys seem to like when I share what I'm getting my kids for Christmas, so I definitely plan on doing that again for you guys. I have some new wrapping present, uh, gift wrapping ideas, um, or tips and tricks for that, so I can't wait to share that for you guys, but if you're excited for Christmas, give this video a thumbs up, because, yeah. I am so excited. Also, I do want to give you guys an idea. So for October, um, since it's Halloween, it's spooky month. Uh, if you guys don't follow me over on Instagram, definitely go check it out. It is um, at bean underscore Mrs. Frazier. I have been sharing every night um, in the month of October, my family has picked a Halloween movie. Um, they can go anywhere from cute and friendly all the way up to gory horror spooky you know all the things so uh basically we're talking you know from spookly the pumpkin all the way to like jigsaw or uh texas chainsaw <laughs> anything and everything goes in this house uh when it comes to halloween and we are so excited we absolutely love it um but yes so we all picked out five movies a piece, which makes up 30 videos. We are not doing one on Halloween because that's the night of trick-or-treating. Uh, and then we, every night, well, basically I printed them all off, cut them up, put them in a bucket, and we draw a movie every night to see which one we are going to watch it's so fun we've done this for the past like few years and my kids really just look forward to it we also do it for christmas so uh for christmas though we do one through 24 so it'll be four videos a piece and i am so excited so i need you guys to list your favorite christmas video or movie down in the comments um to help give me some ideas to help prepare me for uh our christmas movie nights So with the kitchen reno, we did end up um, upgrading our appliances. We just had some like Whirlpool stainless ones that were cheap, scratched, dented, you know, all the things um, from when we moved into the house. And I have always wanted black stainless. So we picked out these beautiful Frigidaire Gallery black stainless appliances. I absolutely love them and highly recommend them. Frigidaire is literally the best appliance maker um, I think, if I remember correctly, they also make, like, Electrolux, Frigidaire, it's all under the same company brand, and I would highly recommend them all over. <laughs> um, Hubby has been in the appliance business for, like, 14 years, something like that, maybe 15 years, um, so, and that was what he would recommend as well, but anyway, back to what I was saying, my point behind bringing them up I was going to tell you guys that I am just using a vinegar um, water solution and then I use a little bit of um, essential oil to help um, break up the vinegar scent so it makes it really super easy to clean the appliances I was really afraid you know, my husband recommended the Zep stainless steel cleaner because that's what he uses at work. And so I bought some. Um, but then I read something that that can, like, the stainless steel cleaners don't do well on black stainless. So I got really scared to <laughs> ruin my brand new appliances. So I've just been using uh, just the vinegar water mix. Or sometimes I'll even use just, you know, a wet wash rag with uh, some, or wash rag or dish rag, whatever you want to call it. Uh, no judgment here. <laughs> um, I was raised by Iowa farm people, okay? So I say wash, I can't help it. But anyway... 
Um, I really like to use the vinegar mixture or I will even use a wet wash rag, dish rag with a little bit of Blue Dawn on it. So just to wipe down my appliances. Honestly though, these appliances like they do not get the fingerprint buildup like our old appliances did. So yeah, I, I absolutely love them, but if you're looking for an easy cleaning solution, I definitely recommend the vinegar water mixture. Like I said, I just use a little bit of essential oil, just a couple drops in there, enough to kind of mask the scent. And no, my house does not smell like vinegar. No, the spray. I mean, it has a little bit of a vinegar scent, but it doesn't leave that vinegar scent behind. You know what I mean? Um, but also, I have a question, you guys. So... I love our trash can. Uh, it gets dirty, which obviously that's why I'm cleaning it. But I need to know, is it a big deal that it's stainless and nothing else is stainless anymore? I guess our faucet is stainless. I never thought about that. So does that clash? Does the faucet clash? I don't know. These are random things that run through Tammy's brains. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you guys just listening to me ramble. You guys are seriously, I have some of the best subscribers and I absolutely love you guys. You guys are seriously just amazing. Um, and I, I don't know. I am truly, truly, truly just so grateful for you guys. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and move on to the ceiling fan. Our fans run pretty much 24 seven here. Um, unless the temperatures drop like and the high is only going to be like 50, 60 degrees, the ceiling fans are on. So, um, but for whatever reason, the switch accidentally got shut off and I noticed how dirty this fan was. You guys look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I could not believe the buildup when I saw that. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to clean these fan blades. So I am pretty sure that the rest of the fans in the house look about the same. Um, so look forward to that video because when I go uh, do some deep cleaning in the bedroom later on this week, there's definitely going to be some cleaning of the fan in that one too. If you're looking for some good dirty motivating content it's it's coming i promise <laughs> because it's been a minute but anyway so i just wanted to get the heavy dust off of there get it off clean it with my swiffer i did have a reusable pad on there but i don't really like that pad so i just threw it away and i actually ended up replacing um some with my blah i don't know what i was gonna say i got new swiffer wipes basically for when I go to do this again but anyway I cleaned all that off and then I wanted to go in with just some dust spray and then get all the little bit that was left behind and see there was a little bit left behind Gross. <laughs> show me your love like it is like it is and open my heart like you're fearless steal all the gold you can get you can get Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless You'll notice that I don't put the dishes back out or the plates back out when I remake the table. Um, I was feeling like it was just overwhelming it was too much and i just i was over it so i didn't put the plates back out um but unfortunately because it was no longer crowded um our lottie the little white calico ugh, she's so naughty she decided that she was going to start chewing on the black um i forget what it's called at the moment but that netted like table runner and yeah we had a mess of one the other day and it was like half coming out of her stuck with all her processed food if you're catching my drift without me actually saying it and yeah so sorry tmi i apologize but oh my gosh it it was a i yeah so that is no longer there i took it off uh she attacked the ghost that's why that ghost is like all over the place as well uh so he is no longer there so now we're back to just candles and the regular striped like farmhousey look uh table runner <laughs> cats are great guys um you know when they're not they're great 
but yeah I don't know where I was going with that but anyway um it's just time to go ahead and mop I'm using fabuloso I absolutely love the purple fabuloso um, I use it all the time. I will, I do plan on though when that one runs out, I think I'm going to switch to Pine Saw. I don't know if you guys watch uh, Living with Cambria, but I absolutely love her. And um, she lives not too far from me. So she's been using Pine Saw and she highly recommends it, especially down here in Florida to help deter bugs and stuff like that because we're we live in florida we we can spray and spray all we want but sometimes bugs just get attracted to homes and yeah so i think i'm gonna give pine saw a try i love the pine saw scent i haven't used it in forever um but i definitely think i'm gonna check it out the next go around uh, but anyway, guys, this is kind of basically the end of the video. I chit-chatted all the way through it. I hope you guys are okay with that. Um, you guys will have to let me know if you guys prefer more music or if you like the chatty videos. So anyway, guys, I hope if you guys have not already, I hope you hit that red subscribe button. Come along and join my YouTube family. I am so grateful that each and every one of you are here with me today. Um, but anyway... I hope you all stay happy, healthy, and safe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier, or welcome if you are new. If you are new, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Come along and join my YouTube family. I'm so grateful that you decided to click on my video today. And as you see, we got quite the mess going. So I need to go ahead, get all these clothes put away, get the clutter picked up and taken care of. And then we're gonna deep dive into the nitty gritty and get this room clean. When I met you, we were like fireworks Thought nothing could break us But oh how we got burned Look at us now, we scream, we fight And no one knows the reason We're both getting out of line mm -hmm. Now say goodbye I thought I'd take this time to introduce myself real quick. Hi, I'm Tammy, mama of four, three girls and a boy. Our oldest is 16, that is Mia, and then Hayden is 15, Kendall is 12, and then our little guy is Freddie, and he is nine. We moved down to Florida about a year and a half ago now from Nebraska, so you'll definitely see me repping Nebraska here because we still love our football. Um, we just didn't really like the state anymore <laughs> more so the weather than anything but anyway we did move down to florida we bought this little house and we have just been spending the past year and a half kind of just making it our own um and just living the beautiful life here in florida the warm weather you know enjoying the ocean and all the things but i do think want to thank you for being here and clicking on my video i am so grateful that you decided to click on my video it literally means the absolute world to me um 
We do a lot of different things around here. I do do a lot of motivational cleaning between uh, just instant motivation with a speed cleaning, deep cleaning motivation, spring cleaning, decluttering, organizing, kind of all in the little cleaning realm. I also love to share um, decorating tips, decorating inspiration. I cannot wait. If you have been watching my past few videos, I am so excited for Christmas. Um, I know you OGs are probably getting tired of hearing that, but I am. I am so excited for Christmas. So I hope you guys will hit the red subscribe button and stick around through the holidays at the very least and enjoy all the content coming your way. I also like to do a little bit of shopping, so I will take you guys with me, um, share new decor, new finds, uh, all the things. So I'm kind of like your best friend with all the little tips and tricks and I don't have a problem um, showing you things to buy money <laughs> or to spend your money on. So I also love to share great deals with you guys, especially when it comes to groceries, because I know that we are all out here struggling, you guys. It is hard <laughs> right now with grocery prices. But anyway, I just love sharing um, little tidbits of my life here and there and, you know, motivating you guys because me providing this content, this motivating content for you guys also helps motivate me to get my butt moving and get things going. So I hope you guys will choose to stick around and enjoy what I have for you guys. But also, I just want to jump in and note this. Look at all that dust off of this fan. Oh my goodness. You know, so... We live here in Florida. The fans pretty much run 24-7. So we did have a little bit of, cool, of a cool down. And I shut the fan off the other day uh, in the dining room. And I was like, oh my holy macaroni. I need to clean these fans. So I'm making note of it. And every, each and every room is going to get the ceiling fan clean. Because it is gross. As you see, there was a lot of dust. Um, that's why I didn't take the bedding off yet because we will be doing that, but I wanted, uh, the majority of the dust to fall on the blankets and not on the mattress. So anyway, I did just use a Swiffer and then I'm going to go through and do like a deeper clean with a rag, which y'all are going to want to see this. It is so gross what still came off of this fan blade and fan in general because I cleaned the lights too because don't forget those even on the inside around the bulbs. So um, after we get done cleaning this bedroom, we're going to head into the bathroom. I have a new product that I am excited to share with you guys. So, well, let me say that more or less we're going to test it out together. It has gone viral on TikTok, and so I caved and bought it, and I, I really just want to share it with you guys. So I hope you guys will stick around to the end of this video. The weather has been absolutely beautiful here, so you might notice that my windows are open. It oh, it has been just glorious in the mid 70s, mid to upper 70s, and just a beautiful slight breeze. No humidity. It is absolutely gorgeous. If you have never been to Florida, this is the time to visit because the humidity is down. It is not crazy. So the weather has just been absolutely beautiful. I told my husband uh, when he got home this night or after I was cleaning, I was like, I feel like I'm doing spring cleaning because it feels like springtime outside and it feels so amazing. I absolutely love just being able to open 
uh, the windows and get all those germs, you know, that have been, you know, like in up, up in the northern part of the U.S. and the Midwest, stuff like that, uh, where it snows and you open in the spring comes and it starts to warm up and you open the uh, windows and, you know, just to get all those germs and everything else that have just been locked up in your house all night or all night. <laughs> all winter so it's kind of like the same here so our houses are basically kind of locked up all all summer long for quite a while actually i think probably like march maybe february even um you know and so it just feels so good to get the windows open to get fresh air blowing through the house just to clean out anything and everything that has been locked up in here with us so i i just absolutely love the fresh air do you guys open the windows where you guys are at um i know my poor husband suffers from allergies and anytime i would open them back home in nebraska <laughs> he the poor guy he his nose would be all stuffed and He'd be sneezing and yeah, it would be a whole thing. So I always felt really bad, but he doesn't seem to have those allergies here. Um, it seems to be going a lot better for him. So anyway, also I wanted to go ahead and um, clean off these blinds. I noticed the other day when I did open the window that the blinds were gross. <laughs> Um, so I just wanted to go ahead and clean them off. I did just use my pledge spray, the, the dusting spray to clean them off. Um, like I just showed you, isn't that gross? That was from one half of the backside. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna see here in a second, I'm gonna show you the other portion of it. See, so gross. I will say though, I do flip the blinds and do the other side and it isn't near as bad, um, but it's just so crazy how like dirty blinds get. I honestly though, I really hate blinds and I would love to replace these. Um, they are broken too from when we, even from before we moved in, but we're living with them for now. It's, it's fine. Blinds are kind of expensive, um, especially for bigger windows like this. So we're just going to work through it and make it work. Um, but yeah, I just decided that it needed to be cleaned and you'll see me here in a second. I do kind of open the curtain a little bit. Um, and I was going to clean the window seal. But then I noticed that the screen is pushed out and I'm like, oh, this is not a good idea. We're just going to go ahead and put the blinds back down because my worry, um, where we live in a ranch and so I got worried. I'm like, okay, you know, the screen's kind of popping out. We're going to put the blinds back down because I don't need like a snake or a lizard to come up through there. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to go ahead and move on. I did tie up the curtains because I'm going to do a deep clean or a carpet shampoo on the rug. Um, anytime, so tip from Tammy, anytime I go to shampoo my rugs, I always do a quick vacuum and a slow vacuum. So basically what that is, is taking the vacuum cleaner and just going real slow over the area that you are about to shampoo. Honestly, <clears throat> it even helps, excuse me, it even helps doing that even on a weekly basis, if anything. If you, so here's my thing. I didn't believe it. I, I actually heard about it um, from another YouTuber and I cannot think of her name at the moment. She, her name is Amanda, but I cannot think of the name of her channel at the moment. But anyway, I absolutely love her. She is great. I will try to remember. If I remember, um, I will try to leave her name on the screen or her channel name. But anyway, so she is a big promoter of the slow vacuuming and I'm just like, yeah, okay, that's a little weird. I don't understand how it's getting any more out. But to test it, Vacuum first, like you normally would, and then go back and do a very slow vacuum. I promise you will notice a difference. You will suck up more more like dirt, hair, whatever comes out of the carpet, and you will be amazed. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way. So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day. Yeah, I am on my way. I won't slow down <laughs> Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down So I thought... <laughs> 
I always love sharing these dumps. It looks, oh, it's so gross. And all the cat hair that gets built up into it. I'm sure it's more than cat hair because I shed like crazy too. But it, the dumps are just so satisfying to share that. Because sometimes it can kind of look like, I, I like to show the dumps, I like to show the dirty rags and stuff like that because sometimes on camera it looks almost like you're cleaning a clean house or a clean floor or, or whatever, you know? Sometimes it's hard to really capture the dust and the dirt and all that. Um, so just showing the rag and then also the dumps of these water um, from the shampooer is just... It's just satisfying. <laughs> I don't know, what what is this? What is this adult life where we think dirty water and that is satisfying? But I don't know. Um, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and finish this up. I absolutely love the shampooer. I don't know if you guys have seen my other video. It's a few years old. I know a lot of, I get a lot of subscribers from that video. Um, that maybe you haven't seen my other videos since we moved. So this is a new Hoover shampooer. I absolutely love this one. It is much smaller than the one I did the review on a few years ago. I would highly, highly recommend if you have a whole house to do the other Hoover that is in my other video. But we have just a little house. Really the only carpet we have um, are like three rugs in the entire house, big rugs. We have little rugs like the bathroom one here, but um, as far as a lot of carpet goes, realistically, the only big one, we have the one here in the bedroom, we have one in the living room, and then we have kind of a little-ish, medium-sized one in the kitchen. Um, so I didn't need a big, huge shampooer. I bought a little handheld Hoover one. Um, I highly recommend Hoover. When it comes to shampooers, Hoover knows what they are doing. So if you are in the market for a shampooer, definitely check out Hoover. But anyway, I absolutely love this shampooer. I do have it linked in my Amazon shop. Um, if you guys are ever interested in anything, definitely check there first. Um, if you can't find it, leave me a comment. I will find you a link if I can. But anyway, this shampooer is amazing. I absolutely love it. It works so well. And if you just have little carpets or just little rugs throughout your home, this guy works perfectly. So. Anyway guys, obviously it is time to move on to the bathroom. I need to go ahead and do some deep cleaning in here. A big one I'm gonna do in here today is cleaning the shower. Um, I'm embarrassed to say how long it's been since the last time I cleaned my shower. Um, honestly, it's been long enough that I don't even have an exact date for you, <laughs> uh, but it's fine. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get in there, we're gonna clean her up and get her scrubbed down. I will say, whenever I take a shower or whenever my husband takes a shower, we always, always, always spray down the shower after we get out. That is a very important step, um, purely because it helps wash down all those extra soap suds, all the yuckiness that, you know, you're washing off your body. It helps to wash all that off or rinse all that down. And then, um, I feel like the shower doesn't get as dirty as quick when you do it that way. So anyway, I do want to go ahead and make the bed first and then we will move back into the bathroom. I feel like I'm kind of behind in the times. Uh, we recently switched from like Tide liquid to Tide pods. Uh, don't eat them. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we we have switched. We made the switch over to Tide pods, and I actually bought the hygienic clean ones. You guys, holy macaroni! It is a huge game changer. I absolutely love these hygienic pods. They not. I mean. We don't use anything else. There's no downy, no downy centipedes, no nothing um, other than a um, dryer sheet in the dryer, which I'm going to stop using those too. I just wanted to use up what I had instead of wasting the money on them. Um, 
but uh yeah so anyway so we have nothing extra you know making the clothes smell good and they just leave our clothes smelling amazing i absolutely love them if you haven't tried them yet definitely give them a try especially if you are a fan of pods i i don't know I, we've used tide the liquid tide for years and years and years because it was used to be the only he and then or the high efficiency and then now, like, everybody has high efficiency now, but anyway, we finally made the switch, and I absolutely love it. I, I don't know. They're a little bit more expensive, for sure. I do pick them up at our BJ's Wholesale store. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get them at Sam's, you know, or maybe even Costco. I don't have a Costco membership, otherwise I would check out for you guys. Uh, but, yeah, so I absolutely love them. Definitely give them a check Uh Give them a look if you are in the market for maybe a new thing, <laughs> a new uh, uh, detergent. That's what I'm looking for. But I got also, I just want to say thank you. I hope you guys don't mind me rambling. I can ramble a lot, um, especially in these past couple of videos. And I hope it's okay. <laughs> um, I guess it's just like a product of being a stay at home mom. I don't know. Like chatting with you guys, I absolutely love it. Um, Especially because I don't get a lot of adult interaction. So y'all going to hear me ramble because my husband is at work or if my dad's busy. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it's okay though. I love talking to you guys and sharing sharing just, you know, a random tidbits of daily happenings around here. So anyway, we're going to go ahead, like I said, and finish up this bedroom. It feels so good to have nice, clean, crisp sheets. Um, and yeah, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the bathroom here. I am taking down the shower curtain. I do want to give that a good wash, but I also wanted to replace the liner. Initially when I bought this liner, um, we actually bought it when we first moved here or I bought it when we first moved to this house and I didn't realize that there was two different types of liners. There's like shower stall or there's like a full shower curtain. Um, and I bought the wrong one. So this one has been probably about two foot short the entire time that we've lived here and I just never ever changed it. Well, today I finally changed it. So I'm super excited about that and get that one out of here. I usually change my liners probably once a year or so just because they get so much buildup on them. Um, we do have super hard water here in Florida and yeah, so it's just much easier just to throw them away, change them out. They're super cheap. I think I paid like five bucks or something like that. And honestly, it works. It lasts. I'm grateful for it. Um, also, I want to note that yes, I'm covering my face. This is the first time I've ever used this Zep cleaner. Zep is amazing. I absolutely love their cleaners. But that one, that one stinks. I, I couldn't handle it, so I covered my face with my shirt. It was bad. <laughs> but it did the job. It did what I needed it to. I needed to get the, the grout clean. There was some mold, a little bit of mold buildup. Um, some of that orangey buildup, you know, before you get the mold, th that needed to be cleaned out too. But anyway, going on to this uh, spin brush, these things have gone crazy viral and I see them everywhere. I will say initially I saw it on Living with Cambria. She had one and I had wanted one since I saw her have it. But the one I think she had was like $70 or $80 and I just could not, I just, I couldn't get myself to spend that much. Um, but I've been watching TikTok and then Prime Days came along and I came across this one. I think it was like $35. I do have it linked again in my Amazon storefront if you are interested in it. But I'll be honest, I don't think they're worth the hype. Um, they're nice, especially if you have like a lot of uh, carpal tunnel or arthritis. You know, um, I definitely think it would be good for people like that. But I, I don't know. It. It just wasn't that, it, I I've, honestly, I think it's a personal preference, but I would prefer just to, um, I have like a Clorox wand scrubber that I picked up at Target years ago, which I actually need to replace because it's pretty much rusted through, but that I love so much more than this. But anyway, you just plug it in, it charges. It did say to charge for like three and a half, four hours um, on a regular charge, but it really didn't take that long to get a charge to it. 
So I, while I was charging, though, I just wanted to go through and give the rest of the bathroom just a quick wipe down. I did a lot of bad things And never did I give in Just cause the thought of being vulnerable Made me feel less than I I should clarify too on the Zep cleaner. It's not that it has like a stinky smell, like a um, stinky, like a skunk or, you know, bathrooms. You know what I mean, right? Like it's not stinky. It's more of like the chemical scent was very strong um, and overwhelming. It was absolutely not that it just smelled bad. It was just like the chemical scent was strong for me, uh, but I absolutely love it. I used it again in the sink here and it worked amazing. We had like some tooth toothpaste build up um, and some hard water around the little like drain hole. And I, I love it. It cleaned it right off. Um, super easy you know easily i just sprayed it on and then wiped it off like you saw and it worked really well but um another thing i always forget to clean though i do want to say this is these doors i am used to having just slick doors i have never in my life lived in a house that has had doors with details on it and i honestly i don't ever think to clean the doors uh I, it's just not something that comes to mind so, <laughs> this is probably the first time I ever cleaned the doors. That's a little embarrassing admitting that, but I don't even remember cleaning them when we moved in here. And as you can see, they were quite dirty. So, now I'm going to have to go around the house and not only clean my ceiling fans, but I'm going to have to go around and clean the doors as well. So, anyway, if you guys are just a little bit, you know, side note there, don't forget to clean your doors, clean the grooves, the crevices, all that, because they are collecting dust. <laughs> Like I said, this the spin brush, super easy to use. It worked good. I mean, I didn't really have to put any pressure on anything. Now, I don't know if that was the product or the brush. Maybe they worked together. Um, I will say it was nice not having to bend over, bend certain ways, you know, and break your back really um, when it comes to like scrubbing. But again i just i just do not see the value in in the price whether it was 35 dollars 79 dollars i've seen them all over the board and i just i don't know i just can't justify the price for it i am just much more of a get on your hands and knees or like i said the clorox one that i've used in the years past or in previous videos you guys have seen it um i i much prefer it so i do apologize also with this angle <laughs> the way I had the camera, I thought that I had it down a little bit more, um, but it's right by the lights, and so it was really hard for me to see the screen, so I really apologize for this angle, but I'm just getting the bottoms uh, scrubbed with the brush, and then I'm going to go ahead and just rinse everything down with this hot of water that our faucet will go to, and it is pretty hot, so... We're gonna just get everything rinsed down and cleaned, or well, clean, rinsed, cleaned, you know what I mean. But anyway, guys, um, we're gonna go ahead, get the shower curtain hung back up. I do wanna tell you another tip from Tammy. When it comes to your shower curtains, feel free, wash them, the cloth ones. You know what I mean? 
but try not to dry them because I always notice whenever you dry them that is when they shrink if you're just washing them on you know I just wash our shower curtain on a normal setting um, the same type of setting that I would wash our clothes on and then instead of putting it in the dryer I usually will take it out and just hang it right up and then just let it hang dry right on the shower uh, that way it prevents you know it's not wrinkled it dries it prevents the shrinkage that can happen um, but yeah, but then, like I said, it's all clean. So anyway, we're going to go ahead, finish up this bathroom and get this toilet clean and then we'll get everything kind of just put back together. One, if you want, I can be a fighter, I can be a fighter. Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we stay in bed My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him na, 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 na My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall I can make it brighter when it starts Alrighty guys, so that's going to be it for today's video. I hope it gave you a little bit of motivation to get your homes cleaned or maybe some ideas of places that you have been missing as well. So anyway, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button, hit the thumbs up for me, and I hope you guys all stay happy, healthy, and safe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys. I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall I can make it brighter when it starts Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier, or welcome if you are new. If you are new, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Come along and join my YouTube family. I'm so grateful that each and every one of you decided to click on my video today. Um, but yeah, we have a lot to get done, you guys. So, as you can see by the title of this video, it is time to take down the fall and Halloween decor. I... I'm kind of sad because I really just loved my decor this year and you know it just brought in the warmth and vibes the fall vibes that we aren't getting outside in Florida <laughs> um, but it I really just loved everything about my fall decor this year so I'm kind of bummed but at the same time I am so stinking excited for Christmas. I know if you guys have seen my other videos here recently I have been saying this a lot but it is so true. I think just not having that uh, seasonal depression winter blues that you get up north or that I got up north um, in the cold it has just really changed my um, outlook or my perspective of cr Christmas. I will say it doesn't feel like Christmas, it doesn't feel like winter, it doesn't feel like late in the fall season, um, especially without the nip, the like the nippy mornings, that cool crisp air that you wake up to, the air that takes your breath away or stings your chest, you know, there it's just... It's not the same, um, and it's really hard to fluctuate between seasons without that change when you're when it's something that you're used to. I will say though, I have been enjoying the fact that the humidity is 
pretty much non-existent. Um, if you are from the north or from somewhere else, now is the time to visit Florida because it is absolutely gorgeous. We're in the high 70s, low 80s, uh, down into the 60s or so at night. Sometimes it's even in the 70s at night. But the air is not muggy. It's not humid. It's not, you know, just hard to breathe through. It is just absolutely beautiful. Now, I will say it makes it a little difficult to want to go swimming in the ocean or anything like that because uh, the water is definitely cooled off over there. But anyway, I just, it's, it's time to take it all down, take down all that fall decor. And we're going to do some major deep cleaning today uh, just to prepare for next week when it's time to set up Christmas. I really love using these yellow, these black and yellow totes to store our items. They are very heavy duty, um, solid, I guess, totes. Uh, and they're pretty affordable. I know you can get some other plastic totes like these. Uh, I think they're like the Craftsman brand or something like that. And they're a little bit higher priced unless there's a sale. Uh, but I really do love storing in these totes. They're a good size, so they're easy um, to manage, to carry. Typically, you wouldn't need help unless it's like overly heavy. Um, and they hold, but they hold a lot of stuff. And I absolutely, you know, they're just, they're available in most places. We actually have a couple that have like green lids or blue lids um, that we've picked up at Walmart during like Christmas time. Uh, but you can get them pretty much anywhere and they typically come with this like black and yellow um, scheme. Um, but we've got them before our Lowe's, we've got them at uh, Office Max before, they're literally everywhere and like I said I just love packing my stuff into them. I do use, so a little tip from Tammy, um, you know we don't always keep that paper or the bubble wrap that packages come in or when you buy breakables at the store that they wrap them in you know it's kind of hard to keep that stuff around so what I like to do I will use like a blanket or a towel um, you also saw me using some pillow covers and I will wrap those breakable items up into it they're already fall decor like the blanket was a fall item anyway so it just helps keep it all together but it also prevents my breakables from getting broken but Anyway, now that fall is all packed away, I almost forgot my little bats, you guys. <laughs> I guess they could have just stayed up uh, until next year. I don't know. I really loved those little bats, though. They were from Kirkland's. I can't wait to see how we use them next year. But for now, I did get them put back in their box, and then I put everything inside of the tote. So... We're going to go ahead and move on to this cleaning. Now, if you guys have been here for the past couple videos, I told you that I have been slacking on these ceiling fans. Down here, our fans literally run 24-7. They are on. Um, it helps us keep our air conditioner set on a warmer level. I think we have it at like 76, uh, which is comfortable, but sometimes you still just need that air to move throughout the house, and so the ceiling fans run. Well, when they run, I don't notice how dirty they're getting until someone accidentally shuts one off. And that was the problem or the case the other day. Somebody shut the one off in the dining room and holy crap, holy, I was like, goodness gracious, this fan is dirty. Um, so as I'm cleaning each area of the home, I am making sure to keep that on my list and shutting the fans off and cleaning them all off. So... Next up, we're just going to move on to the couch. This couch gets so dirty, you guys. I I will say that I love the style of this couch, but I am really regretting getting a cloth couch. I really am debating on upgrading it to leather. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't want white leather. I feel like that's way too, like, 80s. Um, I don't really want the black because, you know, I feel like it would just be too much in the space since it is a smaller space. 
But I'm kind of thinking I might go with that more camel, like, you know, brownish color. I don't know. I haven't decided. Um, it's going to be a hot minute because this couch realistically is just a year old. So... I don't know what do you guys think but anyway we're just gonna go ahead and get this thing vacuumed up get it cleaned up and then we're gonna move it To be honest, I don't think about you. To be honest, I I really want to put a fireplace in our living room somewhere. I just really miss that fireplace ambiance uh, feeling. We don't necessarily need the heat from a fireplace, um, but I would really just like to put an electric fireplace just for the colors and, you know, just to see the flames and stuff like that. Um, so we have a vent above the TV and I'm like, I don't know how I'm, I want a grand fireplace. I wanted to go floor to ceiling, but with that vent there, I don't really know what to do. So we were talking about it um, and I was talking with my dad about it and he said, well, why don't you put it on this wall uh, where your mirror is, where your round mirror is? And I was like, okay, that's not a bad idea. You know, so while I was cleaning, I was like, you know what? I know I need to vacuum behind this couch. I haven't done it since we moved in. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. Or not since we moved in, but since we got the couch. Um, so I knew that it was going to be needing done. And as you can see, there's a lot of sand and who knows what else back there. Cat toys. I found so much stuff. Uh, socks <laughs> behind the couch. So I just thought that I would go ahead and move it, get it not only cleaned, um, but I also wanted to see if it would fit turning it this way and maybe so that way we could put the fireplace on the other wall um and move our tv over to that other wall where that round mirror is but i think the couch is just way too big to turn it like that it just kind of cramped up the space <laughs> which is why you see me standing there i'm kind of like contemplating like wow like i like the change up your girl likes change i i like change i can't handle like keeping things the same all the time like it's just it's just not me but um yeah I just don't think it's gonna work the couch is too big even if we were to get a new couch we still need a bigger couch because we are a pretty good sized family um as a family of six so anyway it's kind of still in the works it's just in the back of the brain for now but again I am so glad I did move the couches because they were quite dirty behind um not only on the floor, but I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of them being moved and just wipe down the gray, wipe down the baseboards, and do a little bit of cleaning on the wall. So I used the rag a little bit to clean the baseboards and then I was like, what am I doing? I can use my O-Cedar mop to do this. I love my O-Cedar spin mop. If there is a mop you should buy, it is the O-Cedar spin mop. I, like I said, I absolutely love it. It is so easy to use. You can use it not only just as a normal mop, but you can use it to wipe your floors or your uh, walls down as you saw I did. It bends just right so it gets the baseboards easily as well. 
I just love it and I highly, highly, highly recommend if you need a mop, definitely try the Oceater Spin Mop. You can get them pretty much anywhere. I think I have one linked on my Amazon storefront, but you can get them um, at Walmart, Target, all the places. I think the best place, I got mine at Sam's Club, which I think was by far the most affordable place to buy it. So definitely check um, those wholesale places if you are a membership. Uh, even like Costco might have one. I don't know. We don't have a Costco membership, but anyway, I'm just going to go through, give this a little bit more cleaning before I put the couches back. Um, I'm also going to clean down at these windows because that is another thing I noticed going room from room, how dirty these blinds are. I really love this big, it's not necessarily, I guess, a picture window. I was going to call it a picture window, but I think picture windows do not open at all where these do. But I just love these huge windows that let in all the natural light. Um, the, the only thing I don't like about them is they are so hard to clean because they slide as they don't like fold down or fold open or anything like that. Um, so they are definitely difficult to clean when you're trying to clean both sides of the glass. So that's why you're only seeing me clean the inside today. Um, I will definitely go out and clean all the outside here um, probably in a couple weeks when I take down all the fall decor outside. But I, I don't know, I just love these huge windows and we have them in like all the rooms of our house. So, uh, but again, it just makes it so hard to clean. So if you have any tips for me on cleaning those windows, uh, I don't know that there is really any tips other than just cleaning them on the inside, cleaning them on the outside. Um, but I have to pull the screen off every time I clean the outside. So it's a huge project because then you have to re-snap all the screen in there and get it all put back correctly. But that's okay. I will say I also really dislike blinds. Uh, but these blinds were here when we moved in. They fit the window. Uh, they are a little bit broken. The cats, for whatever reason, decided to chew through the cords on the bottom. Um, but you know what? We're just going to leave them for now. I don't know what I would replace them with because honestly, I don't like pulling my curtains. I love having curtains because I feel like it just finishes the space. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't want to pull them all the way across. So I don't know. We may just take them down eventually and just have them all, all the way across. Just use the curtains. It is what it is. But for now, I'm just going to clean them. I They are far too heavy for me to take off and actually take them in the shower and clean them down like I've seen other people do. Um, I guess, you know, that's the con of having such a big window, but that's okay. Uh, we're just going to go ahead now, though, and get this couch put back together. I will say... This couch is extremely lightweight, so no, I'm not big like muscles or anything moving this couch by myself. Um, it was very lightweight and very easy to move. Just a little bit awkward trying to move it on the rug. Happened to you? Here's your time to shine. Show me what you can do. Make a move. The way my hands feel on your body. We were dancing in the dark. With every move I make.
the way my hands feel on your body. So I did want to let you guys know what kind of videos I do have coming up. Now, if you are new, I do post a lot of uh, like cleaning motivation. I like to share uh, grocery hauls and putting them away, um, how I organize groceries, the products, stuff like that, how I save on my groceries. Um, a lot of cleaning, uh, shopping, decorating. I love sharing decorating uh, with you guys, which we will be doing a lot of decorating here coming up. I mean, it is the season for decorating going from fall and Halloween and then to Christmas. So I think the next uh, couple videos after this, um, we might do... I, we might do one more shopping video. I haven't decided on that one yet, but then we are decorating for Christmas. So when I'm talking decorating, we're going to decorate the living room, the kitchen, the dining room area. I'm not sure that I'm going to decorate the bathrooms or not this year. I got all the totes out, uh, as you saw in my previous video, of decluttering my Christmas decor, but I did end up putting them back away because I'm not... Worst case, I'll pull them out again, but... I'm not sure that I'm going to do the bathrooms this year. If you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know and I can I can share that with you guys. I can do it. Um, I just am not in the mood for like a colorful Christmas this year. I want just something more like classic and cozy and neutral. Um, but anyway, yes, so next week we are going to start the decorating for Christmas, which like I said, I'm so excited to share with you guys. I do have um, like a a mini hot cocoa bar that I want to set up with you guys. So we're definitely going to be going to Home Goods uh, and shopping or TJ Maxx, Home Goods, one of, you know, Marshalls. They're all the same thing with different names. But I can't wait to, to share all that with you guys. Uh, and then I will be bringing Thanksgiving back uh, at Thanksgiving time or the fall decor back out to decorate the fall table um, just to give you guys you know, an idea of how to set up maybe your table or something decor wise, just something simple, but beautiful. Um, and then we will be sharing our, um, or I will be sharing, me and the mouse in my pocket, <laughs> uh, we'll be sharing our Thanksgiving meal prep grocery haul. Um, so that way, if you guys are needing some ideas or needing some help there, I will be sharing my plans for our upcoming Thanksgiving meal. But um, if there's anything else you guys would like to see, definitely leave that in the comments below. I make these video for you guys, uh, but at the same time, I just enjoy creating the content. So um, either way, I hope you guys will all stick around and hit that subscribe button, come back, um, and just, you know, be here with me, enjoying the content. I love talking to you guys in the comments too. So if you would, leave me a little comment. Tell me a little bit about yourself or maybe even just where you're from. Um, I love to see where everybody's at who are, you know, for, who are watching my videos. Um, like I said previously, we're from up north. We are from Nebraska, the Omaha area. Uh, born and raised there. Lived there for 36 years before moving down here to Florida. And now we are in Volusia County on the east coast um, of Florida. Central east coast-ish, if you will. We absolutely love it here. We have no regrets at all, other than the fact that we wish we would have moved sooner. But I will say, even though we didn't move sooner, when we did move, it all everything just fell in place and it just worked out amazingly. So I will say, if any of you guys are have big goals of moving, whether it's to Florida or anywhere, your goals will happen. Um, just stick by them. Keep chugging along and working for it. When it's time for it to happen, it will happen. And you guys, I, I feel so blessed because we, we worked on this goal for like seven years before it finally happened. So... Um, anyway, let's go ahead, finish getting everything cleaned up, dusted, mopped, and vacuumed, and all the things. We were like fireworks, thought nothing could break us, but oh how we got burned. Look at us now, we scream, we fight, and no one knows the reason. We're both getting out of line. Now say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you Only wish that I knew how to go on Baby, you and me were so messed up together
as we're getting it ready to end today's video I do want to just thank you all for being here again it just literally means the world to me that you guys have stuck by me um, all my OGs and even my new uh, subscribers I absolutely love you guys you guys it, it literally it just means the world. It means so much to me that you guys have stuck by me or are choosing to f choosing to subscribe and follow me. So I, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to you guys because if it weren't for you, I wouldn't still be here uh, creating this content for you guys. I, I don't know. I absolutely love making it, making the videos and sharing things with you. So I just, I just want to thank you for giving me this opportunity and trusting me with my videos. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I am just going to go ahead, finish up here, give you guys a little bit of before so you guys can remember what everything looked like. And then I will share the final looks. But anyway, until next time, I hope you guys are ready because Christmas is coming and Christmas music is coming and I cannot wait. But I hope you all stay happy, healthy, and safe until next time, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Love.